Hi, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am all about the rainbows and butterflies for this card. And it comes together so quickly with some simple stamping. And then I'll be sharing my ink blend with some distress inks and masking to create this beautiful rainbow background. What I love about this technique is you can apply it to any theme or any big stamp that you have. But I'm featuring the A Good Man and Some Butterflies Kit of the Month for Unity for March 2023. It has this gorgeous butterfly stamp that is perfect for the focal point of your card. And so I have that pre-stamped on some Hammer Mill cardstock, which is a really smooth cardstock. It creates such a beautiful blend with any of your inks. I'm going to create a mask around the image using some post-it note tape. And I'm, I'm kind of eyeballing this and using my mat as a guide for, to make sure that my lines are straight. But I'm just creating a perfect little border around my butterflies to contain my ink blending. And I'm going to be using a set of four different Distress Ink colors. The first one is picked raspberry and I'm starting that at the top and then I'm coming in with some mustard seed and I'm going to be blending those two together and when they blend they'll create my orange so I'm, I'm building up my Rory G Biv rainbow of colors and I'll be overlapping those so I can get my mid, mid tones of that that rainbow color Next up, I'm coming in with Salty Ocean, and you can see I'm leaving a gap between these so they can kind of come together in the middle, so I'll be sure to get my green color when the yellow and the blue blend. And again, the, your paper is really important. If you're not getting a really great blend, you need to look for a much smoother paper. My favorites are Nina, Solar White, this hammer mill, and then also Bristol Smooth. All of these are great options for a really nice smooth blend. You'll want to use your blending brush or some sort of blending tool. Kind of start off to the side of the paper and then slowly bring your, your color in so you don't get a big splotch of color. And then as these colors kind of set and soak into the paper, they'll smooth out a little bit on their own as well. So just give it a little bit of time and that will kind of smooth and blend itself out. Next up, I just added some ink splatters with some white spray ink, but you could use white acrylic paint that's watered down and then use a paintbrush to kind of splatter it over the top. And then this is the reveal. I'm just pulling up that post-it note tape. It creates such a nice crisp border and I just really love how beautiful this blend turned out. Now I'm just going to trim it down so I have a nice white border around my, my rainbow butterflies. And then I'm going to start building up my card. I have the wonky stripes background, again from Unity, and I have this in my Misty. I'm using a transparency to make sure I get a nice uh, coverage of my card base. And I'm only going to be stamping on the right side. So I use a transparency to make sure that it's evenly spaced on my card front. I ink that up really well with VersaFine Claire ink in black. And then I do a repeat stamping quite a few times. I like a real nice solid impression and the Misty really helps with that. And then I'm just going to layer everything up with some foam tape. Added that to the back of the, the butterflies. I have a sentiment also from the, the kit of the month that I trimmed down, added a bit of foam adhesive behind, and I'm just going to pop that right up in the center. And here is our finished card. I just love that beautiful blend that we got because we used a really smooth cardstock and some masking tape to create a nice crisp border for this beautiful rainbow card. As always, I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Plus, if you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!